Well, how do the chums? As you can see, the patch notes are out. Now, I deliberately haven't read these. I'm going to read these with you guys right here, right now. Of course I am, people. So let's go and hit this one up. Hopefully you've got some Winamps playing in the background. Let's bring up a little bit of visualization underneath there. Of course, if I just zoom out just a tad on there. There we go. That fits quite nicely, doesn't it, people? Because it does. Right, -o. let's scroll on down then. Let's have a look what we've got. No Man's Sky Echoes. And it definitely is that poster art that got leaked slightly early, perhaps. Okay, so let's scroll on down. Echoes, introduce in update 4.4. So it hasn't jumped to version 5. So that's probably why we didn't see a No Man's Sky Gib. I don't think this is a massive update. Is it the summer update? Well, it's the summertime and it's the anniversary. It's got the right timestamp. I honestly think we might see something bigger in Halloween, is what I'm thinking, people. If they are going to put the realm of the glass or the void in, that's got Halloween written all over it to me, people inside the Viewerverse. Sound off. Let us know what you think, people inside of the Viewerverse. Who cares? But anyways... What else have we got here? We've got... Let's, let's have a little read then. Meet a secret society of robot aliens. Well, I, they're definitely secret. I just watched Miyogi playing. Yeah, they're playing live on PlayStation 4 right right now, mate. And um, he couldn't find them. <laughs> in update 4.4, Echoes, furthering the narrative, introduced an interceptor. Explore the mysteries of the Autophage, perform their rituals, learn their language. They've got their own language set. OK. And assemble your own ceremonial staff in a deep space. Confront huge outlaw dreadnoughts. Sweep through their trenches and destroy vulnerable components in a new tactical space combat and much more. And here's the trailer, people. All right, OK, let's hit the trailer. Let's hit the trailer. It's, I'm going to have to mute it, so I'll just talk through it, people. So here we go. OK, so we've got robots with staff. So we like that staff. We like the, the round bit at the top. OK, that, that flipped through quite quick, but I didn't spot anything new there. That's a terrible base, but I, I like that holographic projection of a beetle there. Almost like your own little mini farm of wonders and discoveries. Ah, so it's a new base part that projects your wonders and discoveries, is it, people? Oh, I just saw some trench animation there, peeps. Heck, yes, I did. And it's taken to the skies. It's taken to the skies. Yep, lovely planet with the beetles all over it. I think they showcase the same planet in a lot of their trailers, peeps. So, yeah, there, there were some flashes of new. Oh, look, more freighter stuffage there. Again, very quick flash. Oh, here we go. Here's a giant dreadnought taking on a sentinel dreadnought. It doesn't look super death star type size well where's the trenches then okay well there's a giant worm and he's got a different staff look it's got two hands at the top like that that's pretty cool okay well he's flying down inside the trench oh here we go this is what i more expected to see lovely jubbly on oh, there's cannons on the sort of top sort of arches and stuff nice i'll well, take that walker in the face brilliant and it looks like he just took out that dreadnought there very cool like the explosion effects pretty nice and that's that's the trailer. Okay, people. Well, there we go. Trailer done. Trailer done. Dilly and done. Hmm. Okay, well, let's scroll on down. Mechanical life forms uncover the autophage, a long hidden, hidden civilization of robotic beings with bodies cobbled together from scrap metal and salvage technology. Hmm. Maybe the scrap vendor might have something to say about them then. These wandering constructs appear in huge variety of styles from slender pipe wrought ro robots to hefty cloth draped machines very cool i'm liking them that one's got like a little crown i'm not so keen on that head actually or that one uh, no, I, love, I like the one they've given us to be fair okay so there's quite a few different variants quite like that one that one's quite cool yeah yeah all right fine new robotic race pretty darn snaz outlaw capital ships in the darkness of deep space, fearsome pirate dreadnoughts cruise between the stars and terrorise merchant fleets. Confront them to rescue the civilians from certain death. OK, well, people, I was watching Miyogi play, as I mentioned earlier. He encountered one of these giant dreadnoughts, and it was found in a pirate outlaw area of space. He didn't see one as he was jumping to any other system. As soon as he hit a pirate system, boom, his first encounter. So if you want to encounter one of these, hit up a pirate system. Ned noted, on the galactic map, 
by a skull. It's easier to spot them if you've got the conflict scanner installed. Right oh, into your spaceship. Multi-tool salvaging. Become a multi-tool salvage hunter with new multi-tool decommissioning terminals aboard the space anomaly. Okay, it's got a picture on that console of a ship, people. It looks like they've just reused an asset. Refine your collection and earn valuable upgrades and salvage material by dismantling surplus weaponry. I wonder if it'll give you modules for your staff. I don't know whether it will. I mean, I saw Miyogi dismantle one. He didn't get anything overly mind-blowing. He got a couple of S-Class modules, but they were for multi-tools. It didn't denote staffs. So I don't know what the staffs actually bloody do. Oh, he's cool, isn't he? Let's keep scrolling. Let's see if we see something else. Having a droid and a droid pet and riding a droid pet with your droid, that would be cool, wouldn't it? Heck yes, it would. Okay, well, let's scroll on a bit. Oh, look at this. We've got a new guy just sitting at a base there. They who returned. Join minds with priest entity Nada to investigate. Meet and perhaps befriend the mysterious robotic autophage. A guided mission change brings many hours of narrative and adventure, exploring the origins of these secretive constructs and what it means for the universe as a whole. OK, so it says there, to start this, I think you need to speak to Nada. Miyogi spoke to me, uh, Nada inside of his play, live, momentarily ago. Nothing happened. Maybe you have to be further in. Um, because he doesn't normally play on PlayStation 4. He wasn't that far in, save-wise. Oh, look at this. The portal's gone frickin' purple, mate. Well, what the fudge does that mean? The, sp the staff sparks. Okay, um, right, fine. I, I need to see the start of that again. I can't... I've got to wait for the blinking animation to loop again to read that bit of text. Because it mentioned staff. The staff sparks send in a jolt through my bones. So maybe it lights up purple after you've got a staff? Who freaking knows? Fovated rendering for PlayStation VR 2. At freaking last, I've got my VR 2. I'm going to be trying that. That's going to probably be one of the vid first videos I do, I think, is Fovatic rendering and how it boosts PlayStation VR 2 people. So look out for that. That one's going to be cool. Utilising eye tracking technology, this advanced rendering technique, boost resolution and detail for the centre of your vision, sharpening and beautifying things you focus on. People in the view of us, yes, that's going to be one of the first things I do with my PlayStation VR 2. We're going to be testing that, I think, people. Ship combat depth. Maximise your starship's capabilities by diverting power to the engine shields or weapons. How do you do that then? Depending on your current combat situation, supercharge your engines to close close in on your enemies at top speed and then obliterate them with max powered weapons. Oh, look at this. How I diverted to weapons. How do you do the cycling then? Oh, we didn't spot that when Miyogi was playing. That's very star filled. <laughs> <laughs> it's very um, Star Wars Squadrons and also Elite Dangerous. All of those games had that sort of shenanigans in there. That does add an extra dimension to combat. And here's the trenches. Yeah, Miyogi took out all these sort of things. He was taking out them. And I was like, Miyogi, take out the shields. You'll be able to take it out quicker. The shields are all down there, Miyogi. <laughs> if you're watching, down these trenches. The trenches. The trenches, mate. The trenches. Not the red line. <laughs> Trench run. Even the odds against the outlaw dreadnoughts by sweeping directly into their, their superstructure, utilize all the precision and agility of your starship to strike the vulnerable cores in these huge hulking capital ships. Freaking lovely. That is very Star Wars esque, I have to say. Voyager's Expedition. Okay, so we're getting a new expedition, people. Explore the universe and catalogue its marvels in the Voyager's Expedition. Seek the deepest oceans, tallest mountains, most idyllic planets, and strangest alien creatures, and record your find findings for unique exotic rewards. So this plays into your Wonders catalogue. And yet, yeah, there's, there's a heck of a lot more in that Wonders catalogue than I've managed to actually pick up. I was wondering if there was going to be something in a few Future release that actually gives us some additional wonders to be catalogued. Brilliant! Now we've got an expedition that does exactly that. Freaking lovely. Exclusive expedition rewards. Participate in the Voyager's expedition to earn generous ass assortments of exclusive rewards. Decorate your base with an autophage replica parts as well as poster set. Be fitting a seasoned explorer. Adorn your companions with mechanical paws. What? Okay. Electrify your jetpack trails and travel the universe alongside a willful 
hover droid companion. So I think that's the hover droid companion. They've just severed the head off one of the auto the auto pages and given us that as a as a flying pet. Then brilliant. I mean, if that's the highest end reward there. Hopefully it does something cooler than just fly around and make annoying noises. Okay, well, you've got those hands there. I wonder if they go at the top of the staff or whether they're a base part. We'd have to read more people. I don't know. I did see a staff inside the trailer with those hands at the top, so who bloody knows? But yeah, look, that little robot head, it just sort of flies around with you. I don't know whether it's big enough to ride on it or if you could stand on it like a hoverboard. That would be probably better, but that's probably not a thing. All right, let's scroll on down. Massive Dreadnought battles, heck yes. Lots of camera opportunities and photo opportunities with this update, I think, people. Okay, Atlantid, Multi-Tool. Okay, right. Oh, look at that. Oh, that one's got a ball in it. How'd you get these? How'd you get these then? How'd you get these? Expand your arsenal with a new Atlantid class of Multi-Tool, available in hundreds of variations. <laughs> Probe the secrets of the ancient monoliths. To find and claim this runic nanite infused technology. Well, I think I'm going to be happily scrapping a couple of multi tools to get some of these freaking lovelies. Oh, they're beautiful. I, I think I've just found my new favorite multi tool, people. Okay. Well, this wasn't mentioned, was it? And we haven't even got to the staffs yet, but I think I'm pretty much sold. I think I'm in love with this new freaking Atlantid multi tool, mate. Okay, look at that. Oh, that looks like it goes lovely with a Tesla Cybertruck. Heck yes. Oh, and look at the actual construct here. Oh, I like the look of that robot as well. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Oh, there's a giant freaking archive in the background. I wonder if anything has been done to the archives, because that one looks like it's got a big red laser coming out the freaking front of it. What the fudge is that? I don't think I've ever seen an archive like that. Okay, anyway, let's scroll on down then. Let's go a little bit further. Lovely jubbly. Okay, uh, maybe there's more than three sorts, because that one doesn't look like it's amongst those. It said hundreds. It said hundreds, Steve. Hundreds. Okay, here we go, then. Holographic Museum. Construct a wonders project, display in your base, and showcase your favourite fauna, flora, and celestial body discoveries. Oh, that's going to be cool, like a little wonder museum. In addition to planetary wonders, now track and display portal glyphs for their location... Seriously? Allow quick return to most of your remarkable discoveries. I was saying that's what the Wonder Catalog needed. I think I even made a, an ideas video on that, a link to the Wonders Catalog. Freaking awesome! Destructible freighters. Realise your raiding ambitions with explosive space combat. All capital ships, from outlaw dreadnoughts to merchant freighters, can now be reduced to stardust. You can blow up any freighter now, allowing pra practical pilots to earn additional scrap after looting each and every cargo pod. A brand new combat HUD tracks the hull integrity of large vessels, allowing starship pilots to plan their attacks with precision. Brilliant. Well, that's something we could do in multiplayer on a Friday after we've done a weekend mission. We can go and zap a load of freaking freighters. A joint freighter battle exercise. I could take out one trench. Warfare could be doing another. Kettle could be pottering about doing whatever Kettle does, trying not to fall out of the group. And yeah, you know, and, and, and Miyogi, he can shoot out the turrets or something. But there we go. <laughs> we've got this going on. What a lovely image that is. Heck goes. Okay, right. Robotic customized sessions. Engage in assignment of rituals. Okay. For the auto pages to earn a huge array of mechanical customizational parts. Assemble the pieces to create your own robotic avatar. These new armors and cloth pieces can be mixed and matched with all existing armor sets. Brilliant. Creating a vast array of potential new looks. Very nice. Very nice indeed. <laughs> Very cool. Almost like a Jawa, that one. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. I'm liking it a lot. I'm liking it a lot. That has to be said. Sweet. So there we go. We've got all these different construct parts. Um, I'm not too sure how you go about getting them. There we go. I'm doing rituals. But how do you engage in rituals? How do you... Okay. Well, hopefully it says in these patch notes. Precision freighter combat. Tactical space combatants can target individual freighter modules, eliminate, eliminate defences and sabotage weaponry. Destroy generators to disrupt shields. Cripple engines pre prevent warp to safety and eradicate artillery targets to protect merchant vessels. Freaking awesome. Look at that. It's taking out all the engines. Nice one. Okay, so there's all the different moduli bits. Pretty nice. Autophage medals. How long is this patch note? 
establish and build reputation with robotic autophage factions by completing their missions and learning their language. Create an impression to earn exclusive honorary titles. Okay, I think this update's got a bit of freaking depth to it, people. I honestly do. But how? How do you pick up all this stuff? Interesting, I'm sure it says inside of that text there. But yes, we're going to have to dig around to find out how we pick up these autophage missions. Brilliant, eh? Look at them. They're freaking great. Okay, Voltic Staff. Okay, and a traditional ceremonial piece, the Voltic Staff, a new class of two-handed multi-tool. Its construction is a rite of passage for any autophage, symbolizing a pilgrimage across realities. Ooh, very sweet. Okay. Outlaw reputation. So, not only do you get autophage reputation, you can get outlaw reputation. So, there are kind of factions. I don't know, it's not the blue or red inside of the freaking Nexus or whatever, but you know that this is leading towards more factions and guilds. Smuggle loot and rage your way through the galaxies to impress the outlaws of the universe. Achieve milestones, earn medals, and acquire exclusive titles for your nefarious activities. Sweet! Nice. Capes on Switch. Cape customizations have been enabled for players on Nintendo Switch, and all travelers adopting a Viking appearance may also don capes. Super Viking! Fuck yours. Love it, and like his pole as well. He's got a staff in hand with a head on top. Brilliant. Eh? So it's not just limited to the actual autophages, you can have them as Vikings. Lovely. Pirate Frigates. Destroying the outlaw dreadnoughts will leave its support fleet desperate and vulnerable. Recruit these survivors to add to pirate frigates to your fleet. Oh, nice. Okay. These sleek, intimidating crafts are certain to strike fear into the hearts of enemies on combat-focused fleet expeditions. We've got a new frigate type, and look, it's got the solar sails. I'm going to have to get rid of some of my frigate fleets and swap them for these. But yes, I think I might get rid of some of the living Leviathan ones, to be honest. I, as much as living Leviathan ones are okay, they look a little bit out of place with your freighter, don't they? Might just keep one or two, you know? Okay, well, what we got going on here? The shields, lovely jubbly. Sweet. Autophage of visions. Infuse ancient Corvax monoliths with the mysterious Atlantium to access unseen stories. So that's how you access the lore. Interface with these dissonant structures to experience the minds and histories of the autophage through surreal series of visions. Well, that's going to be done. So I'll need to go and stock up on Atlantidum or whatever it is. Heck yes. Nintendo Switch Visual Improvements, a highly customized version of AMD Fidelity FX Super Resonation and all that other technical jargon. And all that bit means that it's going to look slightly nicer on Switch. If it looks like that on Switch, you're getting halfway to getting freaking reflections, mate. That looks nearly as nice as PlayStation 4. So, well done, Switch. Hopefully it's not going to crash every five seconds. Okay, so you can go after, and before. Nyom, nyom. Okay. Before, after. Okay, cool. I don't really see much of a difference. Da dazzling jetpack trails, as long as it doesn't crash, I don't really care. The, the Quicksilver Synthesis bot has been inspired to synthesize a collection of lavish new jetpack trails, ranging from dazzling clouds of ionized matter to playful explosions of rainbow confetti. Coming soon to the Space Anomaly, straight after the emotes, people. We already knew these things were coming, but they didn't have all the icons, they didn't have all the descriptive blurb. They now got it! Heck yes, they have. Autophage Assignments. Travellers wishing to elaborate their status amongst the constructs and earn unique rewards can undertake procedurally generated missions for the autophage, tailored to the specific conditions of their home planet. Procedurally generated missions? How's this done? How does this happen? How do we encounter them and how do we trigger it? Where do we find these autophages? I don't know. Sweet, maybe a campsite or something. Who freaking knows, though, people? But definitely want to pick up some of these procedural generated missions. Lovely, jubbly. So it looks like there is longevity inside of this update, people. If we all want to create our own staffs, if we all want to get ourselves some gnarly multi tools, if we all want to create our own robots, 
it does feel that some of this could be quite endgamey because I don't think you want to take on a giant freaking freighter dreadnought as an early player. So this is endgame content. This is what I asked for. This is what we're getting. I am super excited. <laughs> Can't wait for it to appear on PlayStation 5. It's taking its time. Clothed autophage encampments can be found across all inhabited planets for travellers who know where to look. Using autophage scan technology to sweep nearby sites rich in salvage material, such as freighter crashes or damaged machinery, can often reveal hidden constructs. Hey, righty ho then. Maybe we've got to hit up Nada to get that sort of technology. The autophage scan technology is what I'm thinking. And then when you find these guys, then they're going to give you those procedural missions. Then you're going to get bits for your new autophage, I think. I'm starting to place the pieces of the puzzle together. Heck yes! Rebuild exosuit modules. Hold on, what just happened there? There you go, look, it just appeared. It just freaking appeared. Like a mirage. I guess I will like that one side as well. It looks like it's been squished. Okay, anyway, back to this. Rebuild exosuit modules. Constructed by the Autophage, these impressive upgrade packages are engineered from salvage and repurposed technologies. Autophage synthesis terminals will dispense these unpredictable but potential modules in exchange for precious void moats. Void modes, people. And yes, it's a little bit like the Ingram pro process with Inside of Destiny. I said this is the sort of thing they needed, that you get given these encrypted modules and it gives you random rewards every time you decrypt them. And then this happened. It's freaking happened. Uh, but where does it happen? Where do you get them unencrypted? Do you just stand on that disk inside of the anomaly? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> no escape for the wicked. If critically damaged, outlaw dreadnoughts may attempt to flee battlefield by warping to safety. Those who wish total destruction upon these pirates would have to target the vessel colossal's warp engines and force the dreadnought to meet its fate. Take out the engines first, peeps, but you might have to take out the shields to take out the engines. I don't know! Uh, so we're going to have to tactically work that one out, people, aren't we, inside the view of us? Autophage language. The autophage communicate in a unique, visually distinct language. Expand your alien vocabulary with hundreds of new words to learn. Is it going to be at bloody knowledge stones? Are we going to have to interact with them to learn a singular word each time? I was really hoping that they would stick in that AI mod and they'd all have that Vox language and you could just talk to them and they'd talk back with AI. That's what I was hoping for, whether they've given us a language. But, you know, it's still another thing to do, isn't it? And unravel the mysteries of what the autophages have got to say. Sweet. Colossal space cannons. Pirate fleets bring a range of new and exotic weaponry to their raids. The massive heat cannons mounted to the dreadnoughts tear through even the strongest freighter shielding, while the supporting pirate frigates release waves of deadly Torpedoes upon merchant capital ships. Intercept and destroy these slow moving missiles with your starship before they wreck terrible damage upon your innocent freighters. I kind of think taking on these pirate dreadnoughts with a crew of friends would be the most fun way to do it because someone can concentrate on the missile, someone can take out the actual engines while others take out the freaking shields. You can actually sort of communicate with each other. This is going to be fun. They need more of this. And they need to tie it to a multiplayer mission. Done. Sign me up. Twitch drops. Okay, it's coming to Twitch as well. So maybe this is the big summer update then, you know. They don't normally do Twitch drops, or they haven't for some time. But it looks like there's some wondrous Twitch drops to be had there, people. What a lovely little rouser. A box rouser of that with fans. Sweet. Okay, well, let's scroll on down. And we've got some lovely new images there as well. Freighter shields. All capital ships now have and active anti-spacecraft shielding protect themselves from projectiles and laser fire. Would-be raiders will need to think tactically or fly low to disable or bypass the shields and damage the hull beneath. Sweet. Okay, coolio. That's kind of like a given. Take out the shields. Personal refiner upgrades. A compact extension to the exosuit to the personal refiner Mark II provides travelers with dual input refining capability. Accessible direct from the exosuit interface, this advanced new technology is available to research aboard the space anomaly. Over with Celine, the flicky tongue lady. And uh, yeah, it's, it, it just acts like... Um, like a medium refiner by those of things people at least i think that's who it's with but i think that's who miyogi went to when i was watching him play anyway create your own staff as part of an ancient autophage rituals each construct must hand build their staff 
travellers can seek out and salvage vast arrays of individual components, allowing them to assemble their own unique multi-staff. It's actually a procedural staff, people. This is freaking awesome, isn't it? This is like constructing your own lightsaber if you're a freaking Jedi. I told you we were going to become space wizards. Heck <laughs> yeah! Awesome. Just need to see what they actually do when it comes to attack status, you know? Wingard Leviosa. It's not going to be that, is it? There we go. Lovely jubbly. But you can make loads of different ones, like this bumblebee-headed type looking one. I think my favourite one is this one with the sort of like cattle prod at the top of it. I think I like that one the most. But yeah, well... Hopefully they introduce more staff types, because I'm liking them. I'm liking them. Okay, sweet. Lovely new artworks. And then we've got loads of patch notes here. Loads and 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 loads of patch notes, people. I'm going to put the actual link inside of the video description. So you can go hit this up and take a read of all this yourself. But this is this is freaking lovely, isn't it? I mean, look at it. It goes on like a freaking credits list to a Marvel movie or Star Wars or something. Anyway, people, you guys out there, any of you of us have been freaking awesome. Um, I've got a lot of work to do now. Lots of guides to put together, peeps. Lots of guides to put together. And uh, yeah, I, I also want to test out this foveic rendering on PlayStation VR 2, people. Heck yes. So anyway, peeps, I, I think I'm going to be ending off now. Um, but yeah, I, I hope you enjoy Echoes. It looks like it's going to be a thoroughly enjoyable update. I will be doing a review after I've managed to get through um, some of the actual content and let you know what I think with it and its longevity and all that sort of shenanigans. But you know what? I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah, so if I had to just rate the patch notes and rate this as an update, definitely the best one of this year. Definitely, hands down, the best one of this year. And I also want to get one of those new freaking Atlantean mighty multiples and start creating a spear now. Anyway, I'm off. Cheerio, bye. Take care. Bye-bye, goodbye, and goodbye again.